Okay, so for all these projects, for my scratch build challenge that I'm doing, um, <clears throat> they're all going to be made out of Adam's ready board. Let's see if I can get that in center there. All going to be made out of Adam's ready board. This is uh, also known as Dollar Tree foam board. And uh, you can get it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar a sheet. So all this week I'm going to make one sheet, one dollar airframes. So I already have electronics, like this 30 amp speed controller that you can get pretty much anywhere for about five bucks. Um, I have this 2212 1000 KV motor. In the world of brushless motors, this isn't really that fast, but when coupled with the right prop, it's okay. Motor mounts from previous projects. This one came off a flight test project. You see it still has foam board stuck to it from previous stuff. So I'm literally just going to take the motor mount, stick it on whatever I'm working on, rip it off the next day, put it on the next project. So that's the motor mount. I am also running servos that are being reused from old projects. We got servos there. Got my FlySky receiver, which will just be transferred from project to project. For this first day, I wanted to replicate a project that I saw on Sam Shepard's YouTube channel, which I'll probably link below. But it's just a flying single sheet of foam board. Um, basically, this is the direction of travel, and the motor mount's gonna go here somewhere in the front, the battery's gonna go up front, and we're gonna cut elevons. I think I'm gonna cut some four inch elevons out of the back. I'm going to put a vertical stabilizer in the middle somewhere. And uh, that's about it. Probably stick the servos as close as I can to the center. Stick my ESC and my receiver there. And maybe put a battery there. It's going to be pretty simple. Now I am going to cheat the first day because <clears throat> this whole sheet, you want to leave it 20 inches by 30 inches, which is what the foam board is from the store. So I just have some scraps of foam board. I mean, if you wanted to try to replicate this whole project, you could just go get an additional sheet. All right, and now I'm going to use hot glue and packing tape. Packing tape to make the hinges on the elevons and hot glue to hold everything down. Uh, it balances about here, which is four inches, maybe a little bit back from that, but that's about the CG point. <clears throat> this whole plane pretty much is just to prove that as long as you have CG correct, which is, you know, usually a quarter to 30% of the wing cord, um, as long as you have CG correct, aerodynamics don't really matter. Nothing else really matters. That's kind of what I'm trying to prove by this plane. All right, so the servos are in place. Hopefully they hold up for one flight. The receiver is in place. The ESC is in place and the motor is in place. Pretty much all that's left to do is we gotta glue these little control horns in. And the only rule on these is the holes need to be over the hinge line to get proper deflection. So I'm just gonna line them up, mark it, and glue them in. And then we just gotta put a place to, to mount our battery. Now, as predicted, it's our, you know, it's tail heavy. Right now there's no battery on it. Take a nice big heavy battery, like a 2200. It should, it balances pretty close. So 
So that is literally it. I just have to bind it to the receiver, program in Elevon mixing, which in case you didn't know, Elevon is where both of the flaps work. The ailerons, which rolls the plane, and the elevator, which makes the plane go up and down. This, this particular plane will have no yaw control, so you really will just have to roll and pull up to initiate a turn. So there you have it. When I go left, elevons go left. When I go right, elevons go right. Up, down, and throttle. It balances just a tad behind the four inch mark, but you know what? Let's give it a shot. See you out of the flying field.